God, that song is always a banger. So good. Welcome, guys, to your brand new playthrough on the Mark and I channel. This is Kingdom Hearts Re Chain of Memories. Is it Re or RE? I've never played this game before, but it's a continuation of the first game. Right here was where I left off in the last episode of Kingdom Hearts. We saw this. They chased after Pluto, right? Yeah. <laughs> I was going to call him Goofy for a second. But yeah, he's carrying a letter with the, the king's seal on it. Mickey, obviously. And they were just running off into the meadow over these rolling hills, and then the game ended right here. So, the the chain of memories, I guess, was... Well... The chain of memories was initially a sequel in the form of a Game Boy Advance game. And then they remade it for the PlayStation 2, and... PlayStation 4 and the remix and stuff like that. Road ahead lies something you need. Yeah, here we go. However, in order to claim it, you must lose something that is dear to you. Your Pokemon card collection. updated a lot of the visuals and stuff like that, obviously from Game Boy Advance to PlayStation graphics, but I've never played this game before. I know the combat's different. A new card-based system. The introduction of Organization 13, which is the guy in the black that we'd seen right there, or a member of them. This takes place, obviously, between Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2. It's the bridge between that. Re-chain. Re-colon chain. I don't know how to say it. <laughs> Why is there no dialogue? Maybe it's because the Game Boy Advance version didn't have dialogue and so they don't have voice lines in some of these areas? I know they later have voice lines. And I think... Oh, there it is. Okay. That must have been it. I think, didn't Haley Joel Osment continue the voice of Sora, but he's like much older now, so he's got that puberty voice. This is much deeper. It's okay to barge in? But we gotta do it if we're gonna find the king. The king? King Mickey's here? Something just told me he'd be here, okay? Really? Cause now that you mention it, I was kind of thinking the same thing. Seriously? Me too. One look at this castle, and I just knew. Our very best friends, they're here. Yup, guess great minds think alike. Wait, hey, hold on. It can't be just a coincidence. Oh no, Kimmy. You don't mean that. Yep, I had it too. Mm-hmm. I had the exact same feeling. Gorge! Maybe it's contagious. Or set up. Oh no, something screwy. We yep. gotta go take a look. Alright. That way, to the door. <laughs> Are you scared? Ah, oh, don't be ridiculous. Come on, let's go, Goofy. Hey, fellers, uh, shouldn't we shut the door behind us before we go? Sora! Uh-oh. We beat him in Kingdom Hearts. The mysterious man. That's it. Who are you? <laughs> the normal blade. Lame. Yes. Oh yeah. I'll try some magic. Sega. <laughs> Whoops. Come on. Sega. Sega. Come on. Sega. Fire. Why is 
I should think it's obvious. The moment you set foot in this castle, you forgot every spell and every ability you ever knew. Ah, oh, crap. In this place, to find is to lose, and to lose is to find. That is the way in Castle Oblivion. What? Castle Oblivion? Does he show his face? Here you will meet people that you have known in the past, and you will meet people you miss. I miss? Riku! You mean Riku's here? If what you want is to find him. Why does he keep doing that ghostly thing? What'd you do? I merely sampled your memories. Oh. And from them, I made this. To reunite with those you hold dear. Slick catch. What's this? A card? It is a promise for the reunion you seek. Hold the card to open the door, and beyond it a new world. Proceed, Sora. To lose and claim anew. Or to claim anew only to lose. Glad that wasn't cryptic. Come on. Let's go. Card obtained Traverse Town, huh? So we need cards to enter areas. Curious. Left stick or directional button. Select the card. You cur uh, okay. We currently have only one card. Okay. So that's how we travel, not by gummy ship. Then is right. Is it what it's saying? How different Traverse Town is. This can't be right. We're in Traverse Town. What you see isn't real. This town is an illusion created by your memories ingrained in that card. Oh, okay. My memories. So he's visiting his memories, and the cards are the manifestation, a physical manifestation of that. Forget about that. Sora, we lost Donald and Goofy. Again. Donald, Goofy, guys, where are you? What did you do with them? They're at the mercy of the cards now. Master the cards and their strength will be yours again. Okay. The laws of this castle require that your friends be transformed into cards. If you value your friends, you won't fail to pick them up. Okay. Oops. Cards you pick up are added to the top of your stack. Use them and your friends will come to your aid. Gotcha. Okay. The cards you use vanish, but they will reappear to aid you time and again. Cards are the hearts of your friends. Everything in this castle is ruled by cards. Whether an enemy or a door confronts you, cards are the only way to proceed. But you mustn't forget your own strength. Okay. First thing yourself, move then, use your cards. Okay, my question is though, is like, if I want to strike him down, if I want to hit him, I can't... Is that four, like, the number of card in order? Well, I guess he has multiple strikes, so four, five, six. That's not the number of strikes we can use that card. It's, like, not the total we have in our inventory. That's just the fourth card slot? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we have... A, is it unlimited of those? 
You now know how to use your strength, but it would be of no use if you lose sight of your opponent. I wonder if you can catch me. R2 to target. I don't like that. R1 felt better. Every move you make causes a card to disappear. If you use up all your cards, you will be unable to act. But there is a solution. Keep using cards until you run out, and I will show you. You have no more cards, now that I have no power. If you want that power back, you must focus. Bid the cards return to you, and they will. Uh, quickly select reload cards. Okay. Okay. That's... That combat system is completely unnecessary. The strength of your heart brought back lost cards. You can recall spent cards at any time. You need only wish it. But each time you do, the cards will take longer to return. Ugh. The cards are by no means unlimited. Use them wisely. And despite the flow of battle, and choose the most effective cards, I mean, use any card in your deck. I don't like that. Four card types you use in battle are grouped into two wider categories. The first category includes attack cards, magic, and item. The second category is entirely enemy cards. To use cards from a different category, touch pad button to change. Okay. Cards will empower you whether you are attacking or defending, but it is up to you to decide when to attack and when to defend. Do not forget that. Not feeling this. I don't like that combat. Oh, they're back. Okay. Should be alright. You tell us. When you opened the door, we saw a strange light. And the rest is just blank. Sounds like death. Gee, that doesn't help. <laughs> Try to remember what happened. I have to keep my journal up to date. Hey, Donald, where did I get the new clothes? Wait, he wasn't wearing those clothes before? I don't remember what he had on. <laughs> Me too, Goofy. Were those not your same outfits? I don't remember what they were wearing. Somebody's been messing with our clothes. Could it be the cards again? That is for you to ponder. Match the cards and make your way through the castle. But from here, you walk alone. Alone? We can't let Sora go alone. Yeah, Sora can't go... Can't do anything without our help. Well, that's not true, but okay. Thanks a lot, Donald. I'm sure he'll be okay. Of course. You want me to go alone? Fine, I can take care of myself. Hmm, the hero speaks boldly. Go then, the rest of Castle Oblivion waits. Walk the avenues of light and memory and you shall meet someone dear to you. I want to be done with this game already. I don't, uh, I don't like this card battle system. Got a bad feeling about this? Relax, Jiminy, I'm here for any tricks he's got up his sleeve. How hard can it be to figure out these cards? All I have to do is use one in front of that door over there. Okay. Key of Beginnings. What are the enemy cards for, though? I have no idea, like, why you would need that. To inform the following actions in the field. Move, look around, face forward. Swing, jump, dodge, roll. Okay. So it doesn't take cards to do that. Certain objects to field with your keyblade yields various results. Try striking the barrel. Give me a card. Oh, they move. You have to chase after them. Blizzard card. This is a really odd system. Arc objects can be lifted or thrown. And thrown. Approach and press. Okay. Oh. Oh, I don't have my high jump. See, even the, the life orbs don't look as good. Yeah. What the heck are the red ones? Google? Huh. Weird. Yeah. Huh. Huh. Yeah. yeah, he has single strikes. He has no combos, though. Touching a Heartless on the field starts a battle, but you can strike the Heartless first to gain the upper hand. Yeah. Yeah. 
Oh, I see. Weird. So I have to really pay attention to the cards that I want to use. I don't like that. I hate this. <laughs> okay, triangle to open. Need a map card. Map cards used to synthesize new unexplored rooms. First select the map card you want to use. Do I even have one? Is this a map card? Key of beginnings. That's not a map card. Red, blue. The criterion displayed now means that the door will open with a value of one or greater. So this is a map card? Zero cards are special cards that, which meet most criteria. The card without a marked value is a key card. I do not like this at all. Where the crystal in front of Sora is called a save point. Stand near it and press. Okay. Yeah, the first Kingdom Hearts had better lighting and design, I think, for some of these things. The colors don't look that great. Just look washed out and muted. That's interesting. He has like a bit of a, a float that he can do. He stays in the air a little longer with that strike. explanation I'm like not quite sure what's going on here I see a trophy earned for that hit an enemy with an object one percent of players have done that that's weird the thing that sucks is I have to focus on the card corner more than I do like like, more than I do the actual battle. Because I can't fight here, right? I don't really get this. See, I can't strike. Oh, I see. I don't like that at all. I can't focus on what I'm doing. I have to look at my cards to make sure they're in order. That's really dumb. Level up. Uh, HP boost. Combat power boost. Never a new slate? What the hell is a slate? Oh, choose your bonus. Okay. Why does my hair look so bad? I don't know which one I want. Which one is even like worth getting? I'm not sure. I don't know what a slate is. Next level, 31, max HP. So a huge jump there. I'm gonna go with combat power, I guess. I like that we can choose our reward though, for leveling up, it's neat. Yeah. Oh, they can actually come to me too, okay. Yeah, it really b breaks the flow of, of combat because I have to watch the cards the whole time. Yeah. Yeah, 
Yeah, I don't like that at all. I just want to play. Why, why introduce this stupid card mechanism? This is horrible. I don't like this. I almost want to quit playing this game because it's just like... So lame. This is so... Who the hell designed this? Don't like that. That's not fun. I'll get used to it, I'm sure, but that doesn't mean I have to like it. So there were two enemies there. I don't know if they're part of the same combat. Did he even do anything? See, this is really dumb. Plus, the card numbers seem like they're out of order a little bit. So, like, I don't know how many strikes I have. I really hope this game is short, because I don't want to do this. This sucks. This is the worst combat system I've ever seen in any video game ever. Ever. Like, this is real bad. Like, I've never seen a game take you out of combat just to focus on one corner of the screen. Like, I'm staring at that. It's not... I don't like that at all, man. Now I have now I can't hit you anymore with the freaking keyblade like that's moronic. Cuz like it goes 4 3 2 2 1 like what the hell does that mean? Oh shoot. That's so stupid. And I have to sit here and just tap 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 dive. Tap, tap, tap. Come on. Can someone just give me, like, the abridged version of the story? Because this is stupid. The card system would have been nice if it augmented your experience, but, like, let me beat the crap out of them with the Keyblade if I want. I don't want to rely on cards per strike. I don't know what that means. Does that remove two from the field? I don't, I don't get that. Okay, so there's a door. There's a door. This is a three card. But see, like, what? I don't know what this means. Like, see, what the... Like, what is that? I don't know what I'm doing. I don't... That didn't make any sense. I thought I wouldn't be able to select that card. break. With a crown or special doors. Oh, okay. Okay, so I can't select that. Need the key card and one or more additional cards. Okay. Okay. Oh my god, this is gonna be the worst. Finish it though, I started it. Yeah. 
So I don't understand what the threes and the twos mean exactly. What the hell's card breaker mean? Apparently it didn't matter because I still killed him. If I knew what a slate was, that would make me more in enticed, you know? That was me triggering a battle. grab that oh he grabbed he can grab ledges that's new yeah i'm still trying to like make sense what i'm looking at here okay crown one these cards you see shall be the key So I need that gold card, it looks like. So that would be under here? No. I don't know. Oh, they can chase you down. Say I'm not loving this. Okay, so I need a one-up card in these key cards, so I got that. So that should be it. Then I should be able to use this. Okay. It's a little silly, but okay, whatever, man. Hey, I recognize this area. isn't easy as I thought. Yeah, because you rely on the cards for every swing. <laughs> don't pop out of nowhere like that. Okay. Hey, it's not our fault. We don't know what's going on. Yeah. Pure. <laughs> Pluto's here, too. Things are getting stranger. What's Pluto doing here? Is he a memory? Or is he actually like the real Pluto? Something strange about that. We came to Traverse Town with Pluto, didn't we? Yeah, we never saw him again. Where was he this whole time in Kingdom Hearts 1? Did we? Yeah, he's the one who found Sora. Licking him in the alley. According to my journal, it was before you met with Sora that you came to town with Pluto. Yep. We were chasing after Pluto, and that's how we ended up in Castle Oblivion. But aren't we in Traverse Town? Well, it's not really Traverse Town. I think the card created this Traverse Town inside Castle Oblivion. 
Uh, who cares about all that? It's too confusing. I don't know where we are, but let's just keep moving forward. Defeating Heartless, we'll get somewhere. Better be careful, or it's the Heartless that are going to defeat you. Leon, what's up, baby? Nice chaps. Do I gotta fight him again? Leon, it's you. What are you doing in Castle Oblivion? Castle Oblivion, what are you talking about? This is Traverse Town. Yeah, it has a memory. And how do you know my name? Who are you? <laughs> Just the exclamation point. I've never met the likes of you before. We're playing, Leon. We all fought the Heartless together. You know that. Look, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't even know your names. <laughs> Can't believe it. How can you have forgotten about us? Because you haven't met him yet. I feel for you, but you've got the wrong guy. It happens all the time. Don't take it so personally, Sora. Wait, he said your name. Did you say name? You do know his name, yeah. Now hold on. Why do I know your name? Think Leon's just kidding around? He's not the type. If he is, it's not funny. Sora's really upset. Who's kidding around, Goofy? You and Donald are the ones who. So is he really Leon? I don't get it. Something's wrong with my memory. What's happening here? I don't know, Leon. Maybe Aerith is onto something after all. Yuffie? Yuffie? She said she sensed some uncanny kind of power and asked us to look into it. Well, this is as uncanny as it gets. Maybe you should take Sora to see Aerith. Yuffie, you know my name. Yep, looks like you know mine too. You know him? Hmm. Nope, total stranger. <laughs> but I definitely know his name. Strange, yes, but convenient. We can skip the introductions. How is it that you can accept this situation so easily? I don't get you. Well, I'm going to run ahead and fill Aerith in. Leon, you give them the grand tour. See you later. I guess it's no use pondering over it. Come on, follow me. But they are heartless wandering around town. I'd better teach you how to protect yourself in battle. So see the numbers pointed on your cards? How do we not know this before? They range from zero to nine. Higher numbers mean stronger cards. Oh, I didn't know that. If you and your enemy both play a card at the same time, the higher card wins. Go on, try it out. So he has a three. How did he guard against that? I don't understand. See how it works? No. Playing a card higher than your opponents and breaking through the defenses is called a card break. Ah. Playing a card lower results in your attack being deflected. Even powerful cards can be deflected if the enemy's card is higher. The concept of that on paper probably sounds nice, but in practice this sucks because you're playing live. I would imagine the Game Boy version of this slowed things down so you could take your time, but like you're moving around live in an arena fighting. Like you're in a battle scenario. You, I don't... Whatever, man. This doesn't make a lick of sense, but okay. Even powerful cards can be deflected if the enemy's card is higher. Whoever's on the losing side of a break is left wide open to attack, so let that person be you. Card with zeros of value or special. No matter what card the enemy plays, you can break it with a zero card. But if you play the zero card too soon, the enemy can break it with that. Okay. Total snooze fest. In other words, it's the most powerful card if it comes last and useless if it comes first. Try to make the most of it. Card values also affect the cost of assembling a deck. Keep that in mind. Now it's time to teach you how to stock cards. You don't have to use battle cards one at a time. You can also assemble three cards and use them all at once. This is called stocking cards. Stocking cards and using them in three in threes is much stronger than using cards individually. Go on, give it a try. Stock any three cards in your deck. Stock card. Okay. So 20 total. The sum of your three stock cards becomes your, the value you play. Hmm. The value is usually high and hard to break, and the combo attack deals a lot of damage. Don't hold back. Show me what you can do. Ah, so then you get combos out of that. I just tap the button once. Combo attacks 
aren't the only benefit of stocking cards. Choose your cards carefully and you can unleash special abilities called slates. Slates come in all varieties and each has its own unique card combination. You should try it out once you've collected more cards and learned a slate or two. Okay, well, when I level up. But keep one thing in mind. Every time you use stock cards, you use the first card you picked. You can't reload it. The last card won't return until the end of battle. <laughs> Relying only on slates will cause your cards to run out. That means trouble. So, Jesus. This sucks. All around this sucks. Just the whole thing. The whole thing sucks. I hate all this. Got the hang of it? Uh, more or less. I'll pick up the rest when I fight some real battles. I don't know jack about what he just showed me. Here, I found this lying around. You take it. Remember what I told you and make good use of it. Simba. Key of Guidance. Okay, that was a door that we missed. Yeah, I'm overall not really enjoying this. Let's go back to that save point. Alright, we'll go ahead and save it here. Now that I kind of have a little bit of an understanding, I might do some research in between videos to kind of get a better grip of this, because this is going to be... This is going to be an exhausting playthrough. I do not like this system at all, but I'll have no choice but to get used to it. So that's life, though. Anyway, if you did watch this video and you stuck through it, I appreciate you. Thank you for that. If you enjoyed the video, you can show your love by hitting the like button. Do not forget to subscribe. Any feedback for me, leave in the comment section. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Also, don't forget to take a look at the description box. There are some links that might be of interest to you, one of which is a link to the Markanine Community Discord server. If you want to be part of that group, you can chat with me directly. Otherwise, just know I appreciate you and your time and hope to see you when we continue with more of our playthrough of Kingdom Hearts re Chain of Memories. R-E-Chain of... I'm just going to say re. Whatever. Anyway, that's it for me. Take care. Be well. I'll see you next time.